everybody. I'm Hillary Atkin from the Atkin Report. Welcome to this edition of Hillary's Happy Hour. I'm excited to welcome Winnie Mealy and Manny Remelis from Northwell Health Nurse Choir, who with their colleagues are finalists on America's Got Talent. Winnie and Manny, how are you doing? Uh, oh, we're great. Doing amazing. Great. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a whirlwind so far and uh, we're loving the ride. And we're loving the singing. Yeah. Well, your performance of Stand By Me and Someone to Lean On was incredibly inspiring. And you got Judge Howie Mandel's coveted golden buzzer, sending you straight to the live shows in Hollywood. How did yeah. you feel when you got a standing ovation from all the judges and hearing such incredible compliments from them? Well, I think the whole thing started, the whole incredible journey of being able to get on an airplane uh, we all got mm -hmm. vaccinated, which was a gift for all of us to fly out to mm -hmm. California, just starting the whole thing. So the golden buzzer was really the, yeah. the, the, it was the epitome, but we worked together and for something good and we were rewarded for it, it was spectacular. Yeah. Spectacular. You know, I, I think, um, it didn't hit me initially in the moment when what had happened and it wasn't really until, um, like I felt and saw like the the gold confetti <laughs> coming down, and I was like, like what like what just, what just it happened? happened. <laughs> it's yeah. it's uh, it's an unbelievable experience. And I, if you saw us imagine. after we came down, we were on the ground picking up pieces <laughs> to bring home to show our family. I mean, it was nutty. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it's better than Times Square in New York City conf confetti, right, you guys? Listen, it's yeah. it's a whole nother experience. Yeah. It's an incredible, 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 amazing experience. I can't even sometimes I still can't even believe that it's that it actually happens. You know, I've had like a lot of friends and family and other people from my past like reach out to me and say, you know, like, congratulations. Like, how are you feeling? And, you know, sometimes I, I still can't believe that like this happened, mm -hmm. that I got to be on the stage with all these incredible people that I've only just gotten to know and and to share this amazing experience with them is just a dream come true. Yeah, I mean, it's remember, we're nurses. We're, we, we're bedside nurses who happen to send in a 30 minute, you know, audition on our cell phones mm -hmm. and fast forward, we're standing on America's Got Talent. So that in itself is completely crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. let's rewind to how this initially got started in the first place. As you said, none of you are professional singers. Right. Yeah. So I think, um, you know, obviously we went through uh, this pandemic and, and in some ways it's still going on. Um, and, uh, you know, we had this opportunity, this incredible opportunity to sing virtually initially, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like like when you said, we sent in a quick audition tape and we were selected to you know, up, uplift a lot of people through song. And then um, we had this amazing opportunity afterwards because we thought it was just a one shot thing, you know? And then we had this opportunity to come and audition for uh, America's Got Talent. And, you know, and that was really the first time that we met each other in person, right. got to see each other's faces. You know, we were taking frequent tests. Um, we all had the vaccination so we could actually safely take off our masks and be like, oh, wow, like you have an incredible smile. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, to and then I remember that first practice when we got to hear each other sing together. It, it was truly a beautiful, beautiful moment because I think we forget. Um, you know, throughout this pandemic, you know, you're so alone, you're not really with friends and families, and you kind of forget how how freeing and how much of a release it is to sing with, with friends and family and to just join each other and uplift each other in song. Right. So in during Thanksgiving, like right before Thanksgiving, we work in a health system that has 19,000 nurses. Mm -hmm. So try to wrap your arms around that there's only 18 of us representing 19,000 nurses. So we, we were chosen, and for whatever divine intervention reason that is, mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 such an honor. Because as we stand there, we we're standing there representing all of those nurses that stood next to us mm -hmm. during the last year. So it's very emotional for us, not just for personally for our love of singing, whatever. But mm -hmm. I feel that it's also a mission to uh you know because all the people in the system now are getting on the internet because mm -hmm. they have our names and they're <laughs> blasting out emails and text uh and then i'm saying to the text oh that's so nice who who is this <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know who it is because i don't have them in my phone right yeah. so it's really taken on such a a global 
um, response that I, I think now we're just starting to realize mm -hmm. how many people are affected by this. Yeah. And it's 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 really I, I keep saying it's an honor because it is an honor for yeah. me and for all of us. A hundred percent. Yeah. Well, talk to us about the resilience and strength necessary to get through the darkest days of the coronavirus pandemic when hundreds and hundreds of people were dying every day. Some of, of you know, you, the frontline workers and their families were getting ill. How did you guys make it through that? Let's see. Um, Go first. Uh, sure. You know, I think, um, I think, you know, when we when we think about our song choice, right, you know, Stand By Me, Lean On Me, it's a very important reminder of exactly how we got through everything. I know, I know when you said, um, you know, we're representing 19,000 nurses within Northwell. And I think the thing that I love the most about um, Northwell and, and the hospitals that we work in is that um, you're, you're never really alone. You know, I, you know, we were going through this terrible, terrible time and we didn't have, like I said before, our friends and our families there to support us, yeah. um, at least not, you know, in the same way that they used to. Um, but I, when I, one thing I do remember is leaning on my coworkers for support because we were all going through the same thing. We all had very similar experiences, you know, coming into work day in and day out, putting in the hours and sometimes feeling that it wasn't enough that like what we were doing wasn't really saving anybody. Um, and they were the ones that were beside us every day and every night, supporting us, encouraging us, uplifting each other, you know, and, and I know personally that that's one of the main ways that I was able to make it through because a lot of these coworkers that I knew and that I worked with for many years, they really became my support system and they became like family to me. Yeah. I think, you know, I, I'm a nurse leader and I think in the very beginning, uh, I was just as frightened as uh, the entire division. I work in uh, operative services. And, uh, you know, as a leader, your job is to rally the troops. And um, I think that Northwell was extremely supportive for me um, because they were really good about the communicating. We have 23 hospitals. And so the big hospitals were helping the small hospitals. And there was a lot of collaboration that I think a lot of the staff didn't even know what was going on behind the scenes. And um, then they started these hydration stations because we were, we just wanted water. And, you know, by the time you take off all your PPE, all you want to do is drink water. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of good communication with leadership about what our needs were, uh, as the frontline workers. Um, and then the other thing about resilience for me was a lot of these nurses go home and they didn't have the luxury of going home and sleeping for 10 hours and coming back for another 14. Mm -hmm. They have lives and homes and things and people that they're taking care of and whether it's an elderly parent, right? So we all live that. But when we went back in the next morning, it was really about teamwork. And in my 41 years, I don't think I've ever seen that amount of teamwork uh, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. it, it really was the only way to get through it. You really, you couldn't do it by yourself. No, no. way. Yeah. I think all along throughout this whole thing that you, the medical professionals on the front lines have had the very vocal support of the public. And I think, um, you know, proud to be one of them here. But just what you're doing on America's Got Talent is so inspirational and exciting. And you've described the support that you're receiving from all over the world. But I'm going to point out, Simon said, you're the ones to beat. So please tell me how you're, how are you preparing? How are you preparing for the live shows? Well, we're practicing. Yeah, we've been um, practicing um, fairly frequently. We've been able, we've had the opportunity to meet up with each other fairly right. frequently, um, run through some songs that we think uh, America will really love. Yeah, once they something, hear our something that's sending a message, you know, something mm -hmm. that's really um, kind of letting America know that we're good, we're back, and we really want to try to lift up uh, anybody who's having trouble finding their resiliency or you know, our neighbors and friends mm -hmm. are uh, are finding joy out of this. So yeah. it's it's great. It's yeah. global. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of lifting things up, I want to lift up a glass and <laughs> make a toast to you guys <laughs> as we wrap up Hillary's happy hour. All right. I want to wish Northwell Nurse Choir the utmost success on AGT. Thank you. And Thank you. it's been wonderful having you. Thank you so much. 
Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>